wing nut bolt's gonna go into this square right here. started there we go that pretty much just locks us in this little grate here locks it in for you and then the uh, m6 and the uh, the nut is for when you got two of these coming together right here Right underneath is a slot right there for your nut and bolt, which I'm in the boat with this camera in my hand. Okay, so you get the idea. There's the bolt. I got the nut in my hand, so I'm gonna need two hands to do this. Okay, here's what I've discovered. I'm putting these together right here. As this part's a little cheesy. Your pegs that drop in here and here aren't exactly on point there. So what you get is this area not lining up very well. So when you put your bolt in under here with the nut, you've got to hold this together flush and keep it fairly straight as you tighten it together. Or it gets all cattywampus. But other than that, fairly easy. So you can see how it doesn't quite line up over there. So we gotta kind of probably have to lift a little bit on this peg here. Yep, to get it to line up a little bit while you tighten that bolt and nut down in that corner there. Uh, the wing nuts, I'm guessing those are so you can loosen it up and take this off for some reason. Cleaning. Storage. I don't know what the purpose of taking those off would be, but that's what the wing nuts makes it easy to unscrew and pull this ring off. Okay, now that the outer ring's on, some of it fits up fairly well here and here, but you can see on that end down there, not so great. I suspect it's probably just these rods that they have that drop down into the, these slots aren't quite where they need to be. But other than that, that one fits up pretty well. That one fits up pretty well. It's just, looks like this one here and the one straight across is a little goofy. That part is in, I believe, I'm gonna look at our book, because that box is empty, that box is empty now. So it's got a great, pan. Oh, uh, we got some handles to put on, I bet, okay. Let's look at that. Throw the instructions way over there because I don't really need instructions sometimes. So yeah, what we got left is a couple of handles. Uh, this thing here, this grate for your grilling, it drops into the hole. It's fairly, really easy to figure out. Uh, there's a little pin here. Swing. 
there's a couple holes for different heights. You just put your pin in where you want it. I just realized my earbud wasn't working on the other parts of the video, so hopefully you can hear me. Helps to charge them. But uh, we're gonna put that handle on right there in that slot. It's gonna take the two M6s and some nuts. Real simple there. And then there's another handle there and it goes right in here. So these will be easy. So the easiest way to put that handle on is just to flip this whole thing upside down. Of course. Problem is, is this this rod right here is like right in line with that screw or bolt, and that one, as you see, is just barely out of line. So getting the screwdriver in there was at a cockeyed angle. It kind of sucked, but they're tight. And putting that one on upside down made it so much easier. But yeah, that's what we got going on here. And we will this little and drop it in. and handle adjust our height and that one over there when the grill's hot you got a nice cool place to grab a hold of <clears throat> so we got we got some tea now chocolate coffee got cold this little tripod looking be in here. Drops in. Upside down, sorry. Drop in the three holes that are right there. <clears throat> That's so you can stand logs up in a TP fashion or However, and also for your charcoal plate to sit down in there nice and got a nice little picture here. Charcoal great. Heavy gauge steel construction and durable black porcelain coat finish. Okay, so oh yeah, there's your uh, your logs without that grate in there. So we are done. Have to cut that off, but not bad. Good size. I gotta finish my porch. Ran out of wood on my deck here. Little dog. It's gonna take about 40 more two by six by 14s, 16s, something like that. Quite a bit. There you have it. Nice grill. I got a fire going in here in a minute. I'll let you guys see. Before I start a fire, I forgot about the nice little cover they seen you to go over it. It's not the best. It's kind of a little thin, but it does the job. 
It was neat that they sent it. I don't know if that's a mess up. On the stitching. Mm, kind of looks like it. So yeah, not the mess. Little hole there. I guess I could spin that around and feed the handle through there. Bad little drawstring for it, so the wind doesn't lift it off of it. But, yeah, thought I'd show you that. Got a fire going. Real nice. Feels good. Some pine on there. Pine smells real good. <laughs> <laughs> 